everyone after we finish in step 9 making the adaptive component I'll show you how to make uh, the or how to export the dynamo form into a conceptual mass so we can use it later on to be placed in the Revit project with the adaptive component so now we need to get rid of all those uh, adaptive component elements that we created that's why I have a new save in here and I name it step 10 uh, step 9 you have to keep the adaptive component or you have to keep a copy of that in dynamo for, for now I don't want it so I'll just delete those after I made a copy as I said get rid of the surface we don't need the surface we just use it to make the adaptive component now we need to go to the form itself or to the solid activating this uh, giving it a preview on now we need to add something called uh, it's a form by geometry which is here it's from spring it's a package you can download here from the packages it's a free from internet and it's really useful by the way just connect them and before you run make sure that the conceptual mass is actually set on meters same unit we use there in the project environment now run Now after a couple of minutes of processing that I just posed to save the time, you will notice that the Dynamo actually managed to generate and create for us here inside uh, the Revit conceptual mass file uh, an actual mass that we can use there in the project environment to as a reference to generate the slabs and to generate those walls in between the between those you know curvy surfaces that we used for the adaptive component so we need this to make the mass and we need this to make the sorry we need to make those conceptual massing and then the physical uh, floors for each uh, conceptual mass floor that we made and we also need this to make those uh, curvy small walls here on the edges that we didn't made in the adaptive component make sure that when you hover above it's you know it's, it's been highlighted and when you selected you are actually able to select the surface so you have a correct um, conceptual mass and then don't forget you know you know you need to load the the dynamo the project environment and then load that into the project i'm going to postpone this because if i do that it's going to take too much uh, time as you might know and uh, it's also going to cause my record video recording software for no reason to crash uh, I have no idea I tried that like four times and it crashes so uh, please for go ahead and uh, uh, open the Revit file first and then load the project and load this conceptual mass into the project and I'm going to see you in the next video so soon thank you for watching and have a good day